Hi everybody and welcome to the Kids Corner. My name is Brittany Alberto and I'm the Museum Education Coordinator for the Guild Museum of Arcadia Heritage in beautiful Arcadia, California. Two times a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays we're going to be filming videos uh, where we will be featuring different crafts, recipes, and things that you can do at home. So for our first craft we're going to be making our own peacock feathers out of paper. And this is my peacock feather from home. All you're going to need is a big piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, a paintbrush, your paint, water, and scissors. For the scissors, make sure that you're using parental supervision so that you don't accidentally cut yourself. Now let's get to painting our peacock feather. Peacock feathers are kind of like a really long fish with this really itty bitty skinny tail. And I always like to go over my peacock feather with a Sharpie marker just because when you do watercolors sometimes your pencil marks get swept away. So we're just going to trace that. And then now I'm going to start using my paints. I like to use watercolors. So the first color that the peacock feather has is kind of like a purple Pac-Man shape. And if you don't know who Pac-Man is, you can always ask your parents. Next. We're going to use the color blue to trace around that. And we're just going to make a nice blue circle around our purple Pac-Man shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All you have to do is do your best and try as much as you can. Next, around our blue circle, we're gonna do this big orange oval circle. And I went a little crazy on the orange. Um, I totally forgot that I should have let my blue dry, but you know what, that's okay. If it mixes a little bit, who's to say that it was a bad peacock feather? Peacocks come in all different shapes and sizes. Next, you probably know that peacock feathers are mostly green, so we're gonna use a whole lot of green in our peacock feather. And you can look at my peacock feather that I have for reference. Um, if you live in Arcadia, you might see some peacocks around the city of Arcadia. Sometimes we get them around the museum, but not very often. Um, peacocks are also the city symbol for the city of Arcadia. So you can see them quite a bit. And we're just gonna use so much green. We're going to go all the way around our orange circle and we're just going to paint as best as we can. And I really like painting. It's kind of therapeutic. It makes me feel really happy. And sometimes when I'm just not having the best day, I just take out my watercolors and I'll paint whatever comes to mind. And peacock feathers kind of have other colors in them too. So I added a little bit of yellow just to give my green a little bit of depth. And now for some fun facts about peacocks. So I'm going to go over some peacock facts with my peacock friend, Petey. Petey is an Indian blue peacock, also known as Pavo Cristatus. You might have seen some peacocks around the city of Arcadia and you might notice that they have some blue bodies with green tails. But did you know that in Southeast Asia, they actually have peacocks with green bodies and green tails? So you might see some peacocks around the city of Arcadia. That's because Lucky Baldwin, the city's mayor and founder, brought peacocks over from India in 1879, and they roamed around his property. Today, there are over 200 peacocks in the city of Arcadia, just like Petey. And now you know some fun facts about the peacocks. So now that our peacock feather has dried, we're going to carefully take our scissors and cut out our beautiful peacock feather. And if you need help with the scissors, make sure to ask a parent or a guardian to help you cut it out. And there's definitely no shame in asking for help. We're also going to make sure that we're very careful that we don't accidentally cut ourselves and that we also don't smudge our paints. But if we do, that's okay. So we're just going to be very careful and you can see me, I'm trying to be as careful as I can while cutting my peacock feather and just need to snip off that little part, snip. And we're going to put away our big piece of paper. And now we're going to take our peacock feather and we're going to cut diagonally downwards along the sides, right under our um, colored oval at the top. And we're gonna make these little incisions 
along the sides of our peacock feather. And these are going to be the feather filaments. You can, uh, if you remember my peacock feather that I brought from home, peacock feathers are a little bit shaggy. So it's okay if we don't make the best cuts. And I don't even think there's the same number of cuts on both sides of my peacock feather, but that's okay. And there you have it. You have your very own paper peacock feather. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Kids Corner. Now you have your own really nice peacock feather. If you'd like us to see your peacock feathers, post your pictures on social media with the hashtag Guild Kids Corner, and we would love to see what you've come up with. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye.